Holy shit, you guys, it actually happened. And as you can see, there's an emergency FTL, which is pretty insane because we're the ones that have to initiate it, but you'll see the democracy officer, Uvia, he actually tells us that he did that so he could save our ass pretty much. The crew was forced to initiate an emergency warp without your authorization in order to protect Super Earth's investment in this vessel. The super colony started imploding, and we had to get out of there before we got sucked into the black hole. We barely made it. It's just crazy to actually see Every what happens to the planet the here. It's kind of funny because I was actually just playing it, but I got off. I was playing a different game, Destiny 2. And all of a sudden I saw people talking about it. I'm like, there's no fucking way this happened. And as you can see, the damn... The, holy shit, the, the planet is just eradicated now. That's insane. Also, now, you could still visit it, so I don't know how long you have, but if you actually stand near here, you will it just sounds so eerie, and it's just, I mean, it's beautiful looking, but kind of creepy at the same time. You start hearing a lot of weird noises. The Illuminate basically handed us this planet-destroying super weapon. Doesn't seem too bright for a highly advanced alien. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Just saying, just seeing what the uh, NPCs are saying. Seems like they know something that we don't. I wonder what happens when an entire planet of bugs gets compressed into an infinitesimally small point. Also, I did try to visit a, a planet that was nearby to see if the black hole was visible from a different planet, but I had no luck, unfortunately. The reason why I wanted to talk on this is because everything is planning out perfectly on the timeline. And I wanted to talk about what is to come for the timeline and what to expect. The next thing we're going to do, you could hear him talk about it as well, is we're going to have to infiltrate the automaton and eventually try to eradicate them. But we will have to have a counter offensive against the automatons. And right now there has been leaks that Iron Sights has actually released. Uh, it's been about two months, but it was the automaton grinders, and I have a feeling that's going to be one of the main objectives when we're eventually trying to kill the automatons, potentially. We also have Cybersand that I've talked about as well, which is what the automaton have been trying to take over for a while now, and they actually have. So eventually, I think that'll be the stronghold that we have to go to and possibly do the same thing that we did to the bugs. Cyberstan is a place with a long history of treachery. The stronghold of the cyborgs, and later, their prison. Perhaps it is no accident that this world has become our target once again. Another step towards Cyberstan. And justice. But, with that being said, I have a feeling that now that this has happened, we will start seeing more and more little sprinkles of the Illuminate. They will start showing more rumors about the Illuminate because we have already seen on Cybersan, on Super Earth, that some Illuminates have actually already been killed. So we're already led to believe that they're slowly coming back. So one thing that I saw on Reddit that they were actually talking about was reports indicate that the Helldiver team intends to have the planet of Cybersan ready for gameplay in August. While the Illuminate will be ready in December, well, this may seem disappointing, we have to recognize that the devs didn't expect it to get popular, get so popular. The team still needs lots of time to add a completely different planet and a completely different faction. But they seem like they're more ready right now to be released somewhere between either October to November. That's what I believe. But hopefully we will start seeing more and more dead bodies of them laying around the environment. And maybe we will start seeing their weapons on ground as well but it is, a, it is a little sad to think that well it'll take till august to capture cyberstan but i understand this is a live service game and they're not just gonna completely just get rid of all their enemy factions just because everybody's hungry for that because obviously right now i would love to have the illuminate like <laughs> right now in august but obviously that doesn't make any sense for a live service game so December does sound very believable. It, it is coming together as well because when we do retake Cyberstan, think about it, October is Liberty Day for Helldivers, meaning that'll be a celebration day. I have a really good feeling that when we're celebrating and everything's amazing, we took retook Cyberstan, we're destroying the Terminids and eradicating them, 
and we have the upper hand on, on both factions, that's when the Illuminate are gonna sweep in and show us that we're not top dog. But yeah guys, let's see what happens in this storyline. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Uh, I'm enjoying the game a lot right now. But we, we will be getting the Warbond really soon, probably in the next two weeks. So we will see what happens. It usually will come out on the second Thursday. So it's looking like the 13th, but then again, they did release it on the 9th last uh, last month, so it's a little strange. There hasn't been anything on it right now, but whenever there are leaks, I will report on it. Show you guys what there is. If you guys don't want to see it, then don't even watch it. <laughs> but hopefully on Thursday, it'll be out. And I will do a whole review on all the weapons. All right, guys. Well, please like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, and stay safe out there.